Hi everyone, I'm Charlene from Social Dressmaking and welcome to episode 21 of my weekly planning series. So this week I don't think I will get a lot of sewing time now this week. Um, quite a lot happening on Wednesday. Charlie is starting primary school. Not sure how I'm feeling about it. I know, I know exactly how I'm feeling about it yet. Um, I, just, I can't believe my baby's all grown up and he's going to primary school now. So yeah, um, Wednesday will probably be a bit of an emotional one. But then I'll probably need some sewing to um, settle myself. <laughs> um, then on Thursday, me and Darren are going away for a night. Um, just one night away, just to have a wee break. Um, so yeah, that'll be Thursday and then back on Friday. So really, I don't have a lot of days left then this week for sewing. Um, but have a few plans anyway and I will see what I can get done. Um, so first thing, and I've already shared my other priority, which is... So yes, obviously yesterday, or well, this morning, I had mentioned that I had started working on my mod trousers by Homer and Hoyle. So this is the twal, wearable twal. I had no elastic. I was hoping it was going to arrive this morning in the post, but it didn't. So hopefully it'll come tomorrow and I just need to put the elastic into these and then hem them and they'll be ready to go. I am really, really happy with these, really happy with the fit. And then I got the green pair cut out as well in this green viscose linen from Ramazzi Fabrics. I'm really excited about these ones. So I have that cut out. Hopefully when that elastic arrives, I will make a wee bit of a start in them, but there's no point really starting on the green ones until I get the elastic as well. But really happy with how they're gonna turn out and definitely can see me making more of them. Um, I'm definitely planning a suit of the mod trousers and the blur blazer them as well so yeah can't wait for that then the other thing on my list this week is to finish where is the um this is one of my sleeves now the rest of it's over there the lissimac pacarette which i have lengthened into a dress so i have one sleeve kind of done i'm not sure if i've done it right or not i was saying yesterday on stories i just sometimes the the fatigue from my Crohn's disease just completely takes over and I just, I can't do anything. I can't, physically, I felt like I needed to do something, but mentally I just was, just needed to lie down and it's really, really frustrating having those two, like kind of competing against each other. You know, I, I really did feel like I needed to do something, but I just couldn't focus on anything. So I probably should have just pulled out like a tried and true pattern or something that I'd done before and worked on it. But yeah, I got, a sleeve I think nearly done anyway I'm gonna have a wee look at it today <clears throat> and see if I actually did do it right but yeah so I have this, this sleeve the other sleeve is all it's um sewn together and all the gathering stitches are in it too and then just have the facings to attach that dress and then that'll be done so I really really would like to get that finished this week um and then the other thing if I get a chance to start on will be the swelly blouse by Pauline Alice which is in this cotton voile from Minerva. Um, as I said before, this is supposed to be a lilac, but I do think it's more of like a pale blue. Um, I wouldn't even say it's lavender, but it is perfect. Um, if you are following me on Instagram, you would have seen yesterday, I did like a wee Sunday inspiration series, and there is a dress which is just the exact replica of this pattern. So I am hopefully gonna try and recreate that look with this so I'm really really excited about that one and the pattern is just oh it's just it's amazing it's all everything's French themed with the instructions and just so many of the construction details are so it's been thought through so well and yeah I'm really really excited I have at least one more fabric possibly two fabrics in my stash that I might use this pattern on as well so that's why I really want to get this done so I can make those decisions but yeah I think it's just it's a beautiful pattern and I'm really really excited to start in that one and then I've also pulled out my indigo hack that I'm doing in this um it is the Covent Garden Cotton Lawn from Lady McElroy so if by some crazy chance I actually do get 
the time to sew um, and I can get through them which I don't think I will but I have this one as well just in case I do fancy doing a wee bit I mean it's the indigo dress which I've made a few times and I will get through it pretty quickly I wouldn't be you know I don't really need the instructions or anything like that for it so yeah it would be a nice quick make if I do feel like I need something that I don't have to concentrate on as much maybe this is what I should have worked on yesterday instead of the other one Um, but yeah that is that is everything on my list for this week so as I say not a lot on the list because there is so many other things happening and um, I haven't been thinking about getting away too much just in case something happens and rules and regulations and all that change and we wouldn't have got away but I think it is looking likely now so the next thing I know it's only one night but I need to decide what I'm bringing <laughs> because I have obviously so many makes from lockdown that I haven't worn yet and yeah I'm really really excited to try some of them so yeah I will hopefully I'll maybe put together a wee video on what I am going to bring um, or share it with everyone over on Instagram I'm not sure yet but yeah I'm really really excited um, to figure out what I'm going to take I have so many options um, probably I would say my pink suit maybe not the shorts but definitely that blazer will be coming and um, I think the Thursday the weather isn't going to be great and Friday it's going to be nicer so I'm going to have to kind of think about that with what I'm bringing I mean it's only one night it doesn't really matter <laughs> I could bring it all if I wanted but yeah I am looking forward to deciding that too and um, yeah that's really it to say Wednesday is going to be a hard day for me um, but I, I know he's so ready to go to school and my cousin works in the school and she'll be in his classroom so I have no worries about him settling in he's going to be fine but yeah it's just it's such a big stage such a big milestone but um, yeah that is really it for today there's not um, oh I do have the Helen's Closet pattern test which I'm doing I have one more version of it that I'm going to make this week and it is hopefully going to be released by the end of the week so sign up to her newsletter keep an eye on your inboxes it's going to be a good one and um, so yeah keep away eye for that this week as well and obviously whenever it does the pattern is released I will share it over on Instagram too so yeah that is everything um, sewing wise for today I am wearing my mashup of the plum dress with the plum top by Coco Wild Patterns and the Innes bottom. I still need to do a video on how I hacked that pattern. I mean, yeah, just everything just seems to be crazy at the minute. I think maybe this week I should probably forget about sewing and just do videos because I have that many to catch up on. But yeah, um, that is what I'm wearing today and if you would like to support what I'm doing and buy me a coffee I will pop the link to my coffee page down below and yeah that is everything so I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'd say a lot of the kids are all starting to go back to school now too which is just it's crazy it's just everything's just it, it should not be September yet <laughs> it just doesn't feel right but yeah I hope you're all having a lovely day and I will catch up with you all soon Bye.